own program, a, an easy part for your own program, and then they can get the certificate. Yeah, then they can get the certificate. It's no problem. It's no problem. But, but, Daniel, just now they don't get anything for it. And then they get a certificate. So, and when they apply for a job, then they can show, look, look what I have. And that might be an advantage uh, in regard with other students we, who do not have this. This is an extra curricular certificate. I give you an example. I did another certificate as an, uh, how do you say, to, when you are in a sport association. So yeah. Go, uh, volunteer in a sport association. So all the students in my tennis if you wanted to have an experience in a sport association, specializing in training. I obliged them to do a three months internship in a tennis team. I obliged them to be at the general assembly of the national, uh, the regional league of tennis. I obliged them to have an experience on doing a topic about the association. And at the end, they get a certificate, almost the same as this one. When they look for a job, many, ch many uh, sports clubs are looking nowadays for professional uh, for professional people working in big clubs, yeah. thousands of yeah. members. Yeah. Yeah. If the guy comes and brings this and say, concerning tennis, I had this experience, yeah. they take him. Believe me, you can come with a master of sport management if the guy has a, a, a bachelor of sport management. And this small certificate, they take him. Yeah. Because he has an experience, a concrete experience. Yeah. He worked in a tennis club. He, yes. I think that would be interesting, for example, for, for Spanish universities to have the Spain branch, or Spanish branch, as part of this certificate. It would be wonderful because uh, Marca Spania and the Bote, the branch, Spain branch in sports, is. Uh, so I don't know if you know that uh, the foreign university of players from Spain working a lot in this branch. Uh, Mark has the brand, then Mark has the brand. So okay. that could be interesting. Laura, can, can you explain what Marca Espana is? Uh, it's not the brand. The brand. The brand. The brand. La the brand. The brand. Uh, Spain yeah. is a program from uh, from, uh, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs yeah. uh, that is working a lot this government to increase in sports and the other brands in the industry economies and to promote it in other uh, other countries of the world. So the brand of Spain, it will be very powerful in Spain. In Spain, yes, like Indra, not Indra, uh, other brand. Mm -hmm. So the brand in sports, because the football is very yeah. powerful. Uh, yeah. And also the tennis. Tennis. Formula. Formula. Yes. Motorcycle. Yes. Foot football, not anymore. <laughs> okay. But it is there, the brand of Spain, so each, each country could find this brand of sports. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we don't have the, the connection you have between. Yeah. Or something else. And university. You are a private university. In my case, we don't have anything to divide with the, uh, this branch. You know what I mean? <coughs> we involve them to something like you to explain this what they do. Yeah. I, I, I can give you an example on a lower level. Uh, I have been teaching handball in, in the University of Göttingen, the Sport Institute. And I had an agreement with the Lower Saxon 
Handball Federation. And the students who have followed three courses, handball courses, and uh, in addition had um, to make, to pass a first aid um, um, certificate and a referee certificate. And I sent the names of these students, including the, these two certificates, to the Handball Federation and they get a handball license of this federation. So this is on a lower level, but this is an example too for an extracurricular certificate. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know if you have a uh, links or a collaboration with the uh, Olympic International Olympic yeah. Committee. Mm -hmm. That could be another common point. Exactly. Yeah. One yeah. Exactly, exactly. But, but Laurie, you see the difference between your private universities, your university and the other universities is that we have this type of agreement uh, on a very low level. But this might be useful for the students and it is, of course, it is better to have it on a higher level, but it is much more difficult to fulfill. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, what can we decide on the European certificate now? Um, Jean-Claude, you, you correct the, these little... And the second is that all of you who have a new logo will send it to Jean-Claude and he will... Um, but you can take your 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 ah. yeah yeah and you give it to Miriam then yeah all right Please. do you need anything else so. I was going to ask how is it going to work as in, is it us we promoting our home students you know, you can do this, so when you go to Toulouse, you can do this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, or is it up to the student to find out how to do it? Or is it Toulouse to deal with my students if they want to do no. this? No. Um, oh, how? Students who want to participate in the European Studies in Sports Sciences certificate apply to their home university. This is your university. And if they are admitted, then they apply to the board of the European Network for studies in sports sciences. So we need somebody, maybe it is me, but I don't know, it, it can be somebody else, where they have to write this application to. What is the application? Is it a letter? In yes, it is an informal letter. That they want to do this? Yes. But how to, so for example... <laughs> and, and, yeah, but then, then we have to change this again. Do you want to do this? Okay, that's it. Alright. So, but for example, like for the first time, we are sending two English students to Moti and Ashley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, am I me promoting them and saying, you know, half of them to Moti and half of them to Moti? Is it yeah. Yes, yes, okay. yes. And then give yeah. them this, yeah. and then after they can have a answer. Loria, because you are the sending institution, yeah. and the easiest is you get in contact with yeah. Alfonso, and you, and you both decide if the student has fulfilled uh, the requirements, but then we have to change what we have uh, said here. Yeah. Go to and to make their graduate grades in Russia. He can choose to go to Strasbourg to make the certificate? No. Because you can only once participate in the Erasmus program. And once you are in Murcia, you cannot have a second time in Strasbourg. You only have one possibility. Not two possibilities. 
I, how can we change point four? It's not allowed. Erasmus doesn't allow it. It has to be three months. Yeah, and and it has to be three months. The minimum is three months. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's look at uh, point point four. No, we, we have to change point four and make it easier. So in point four, when you say they need to apply to their home university, that's the normal Erasmus application. Yeah. 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 Um, I have a question. Why is it necessary to apply and not just after the If they apply, they know exactly what they have to do. For example, if they stay um, in a foreign country for three, four, five, six months or even more, and um, if they do not follow practical courses in this country, they cannot get the certificate. So the application con includes um, a perfect information about the certificate. Yeah? Yeah, it's really important to know what courses or what what the experience that you will Exactly. What are the, the, con the very concrete uh, requirements of the certificate? Mm -hmm. yeah. So they, they cannot yeah, they cannot just go and do what they want to do. So they have to follow <coughs> exactly the five requirements we have written down here on this paper. Adapted to you. Adapted to you. By me, uh, by me, because don't be seen because you need a time to have another snow. So we will exchange between us the information what we will provide to our students? Exactly. Okay. We can do it on the website. Okay. Huh? You can. You can? Yeah. We'll make to the website. We can put it what? on the website. This, yeah, yeah. Uh, the way you decline it in your country. The way you decline it? The way you, uh, you can specify. Specify. Yeah, to, to specify each, each university, what do you provide? Yeah. What are yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Oh, it's important. Okay, yeah. If, if the students will, will come and uh, he will, will like to uh, a nomination, you know, yes, okay, it's perfect, but what I will achieve here. So if I go to Strasbourg or if I go to Toulouse, which courses or which program, which uh, you follow. Project, I will follow there and I will do that. Yeah. It's really important what the work said to put it in the network for each university. Yeah. 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 Put it on the website. But you, you see, the, the student who goes abroad, mm -hmm. he has to write a learning agreement. Yeah. And in this learning agree agreement have to be these five requirements. Yeah or maybe in the revised learning agreement. Mm -hmm. So it has to be very official. Yeah. And you as the sending and also the accepting institution, both of them have to decide if the requirements are fulfilled. Except so so um, 
we have to, um, I, I just try to uh, um, propose a formulation. Uh, students who want to participate in the European Studies in Sports Sciences certificate apply to their home university. Point. Home university and partner university decide about the acceptance of the requirements or something like this. Yeah? So everything is clear and it is not up to a board but it, <coughs> it's a question between home university and partner university. Except you, then you cannot write it on the learning agreement. Yeah. On the learning agreement, you have ECTS. Yeah, but we do have 30 ECTS too. Yeah. The learning agreement always has 30 ECTS. But we don't need to write it on the learning agreement. Yeah. No, not, not the, the certificate, the but the courses. Yeah. The names of the courses practical, theoretical, and whatever it is, this is part of the, the formal learning agreement. <coughs> Otherwise... The learning agreement is very official. This is an official Erasmus document. And not the certificate, but the different courses which are necessary to get the certificate, certificate have to be part of the learning agreement. It's clear. Jean-Claude. C'est bon. C'est ça. C'est pas compliqué. Non, non. Je pense que c'est une question d'information. When the students come, you have to give it after. The university said, if you want to do something, get something. Look, you can do this, and you get this paper. Do you want or not? Yeah. If you want to do this, please, you have to follow this. Yeah. This depends on every university. I agree. But if we keep it simple and not avoid another application and say, upon agreement between home no, and partner. No, forget it. You do it, and you have the certificate. I give you the certificate. And at the end, you just have to put the stamps here when you meet and you send it to the students. You, you know what I mean? Which, no, I don't because I don't think we want to have to one more piece no. of paperwork. Listen, listen, I have the uh, description now, the formulation now. Students who want to participate in the European Studies in Sports Sciences certificate apply to their home university. Yeah, this is the first step. Home university and partner university decide about the successful application. Completion. Completion. Realization. Realization. Requirements? Necessary. About the necessary requirements. The validation of the requirements necessary for the delivery of the ticket. The validation of the requirements. Is that enough? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. I prefer the first. Yeah, but we, we do want to make it easier. We do not have to b have the, <coughs> the board in between. <coughs> but it is a question of the home university and the partner university. Yeah? That's okay, I think. That's what we want. What, how to proceed? The student writes an application to his home university or her home university. The home university gets into contact with the partner university and both of them decide if this application is successful. Yeah? yeah? That's it? So the principle is we're going to give this certificate to anybody who, who fulfills these five. Is, is okay with all these requirements. His five or six. they don't know anything about this before. Yeah, but no, yeah, no, 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 no. We, we give them the information. When the application 
includes the information of the home university about the certificate, about the requirements of the certificate. Otherwise, the application doesn't make sense. Yeah? No, learning agreement is not enough. Yeah, you. you have to do many other things. But not only the CPS. No, no. Yeah, but that's it. But for our certificate, we need something more. Yeah, extra. Well, the 30 credits have to fill these specific things. Exactly, one. So many times it will, but not always. So it's in addition, as a complement, supplement to the right? It's quite a long job, anyway. I think we're going to have to do it. How many times do you see an Arab student in your phone? No, please, answer to me. Answer to me. How many times do you see uh, an Erasmus student in your faculty? Do one or two times in a year. Or in, uh, no, I've seen it. Yeah, but it, it doesn't depend on you personally. But the student is there, and the student is supposed to make 30 ECTS in general. In general. If he makes less, it's up to him. But if he makes or she makes less, he or she cannot get the European certificate. That we have written it very clearly. This certificate may be delivered if the student obtains the equivalent of 30 ECTS in the host country. So, if he or she makes only 20, he cannot get the certificate. That's easy. Yeah. My question was the other points. What, what is your pr problem? No, no, Laura, this is not, not true. No. Have a look at these five points. Yeah. Successful participation in a practical sport course, typical of the host country. For Germany, that would be handball, for example. Yeah? Okay. They make a course in handball. When they go to England, they may choose cricket. Men, when, exactly. Exactly. So each country has its specialty. Successful participation in a second practical sport course. This can be swimming, gymnastics or whatever. Third, successful participation in an optional course, theory or practice. No problem. Each institution offers more than five or six or maybe even ten uh, different courses. Four, Successful participation in a research project or successful participation in a project with practical training. Everybody can provide this. I think it's no problem. And five, successful participation in a course about sport and natural culture or written paper, uh, 10 pages about sport and natu national culture. That's it. Yeah, this is part of the 30 ECTS. Or this can be part of the 30 ECTS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you go five points. So can these five points be combined? in the same course. So for example, if I choose cricket, yeah. that would be point one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But if I write <coughs> a piece of work about cricket, that would be part point five as well. Yeah. Can it happen like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We should make it as easy as possible and not complicated. For me, it's easy. It can be very nice. 
No, it is very easy. They do the 30 CTS, they pick up the 30 CTS. And when you pick up the 30 CTS, each time you try to ask the ECTS to do the project of study there. Alright? Because they don't find the same subject in Toulouse, even in France, as I so I cannot find the same subject in in Göttingen. So they pick up 30 ECTS lead to the project of formation and studies they get. And after if they want to <coughs> but in addition Jean so Jean Claude, more, yeah, 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 yeah. Jean Claude, we are always talking about minimum requirements. Yeah. Yeah? So if in 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 Göttingen you get only two credit points for a practical course. But if you take five practical courses you get 10 credit points. Or if you talk about the, the course leader and, and you say, I want to make uh, a written report in handball, yes. you don't get two credit points, but you get three or even four. Yeah, you can, you can find a balance for everything. Yeah, yeah. Ex excuse me, Jean Claude, Daniel. You have. We have a We have a Yeah. We have 30. Yeah. In the final, I can uh, give him because also uh, they check all five uh, uh, no. requirements. No. If if no. he or she if, if he fulfills all the five requirements and he has 30 ECTS, you can give them the certificate. But if he has only 25, you cannot give the certificate. Yeah. If I don't do that, then I, I, I get used to that, okay? This can be complementary. It's a new sport because it's critical of England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but... We don't have that in France, okay? Or we have it. Yeah, but, but Jean-Claude, this is exactly written. Successful participation in a practical sport course typical of the host country. That is typical for England, for example. Or cricket, or whatever it might be. So I would say you get 30 ECTS plus something. So 30 ECTS always is the minimum. And the five points we have written down here is always the minimum successful participation in a practical sport course typical of the host country. If, if you get only two ECTS, two credit points, then maybe you have to choose two or three courses to get in a whole 30 ECTS. But the minimum credit points in all over Erasmus, all over the Erasmus program, always is 30 ECTS. I think I have to say that we are asking for this 30 ECTS, but those 30 ECTS, they have to be uh, comprised by these sort of characteristics. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Not, it's not enough to have ECTS, but <coughs> Yeah, the, once again, these are the minimum requirements. If you have less, you can get. If you have more, you will be welcome to get the certificate. And if he doesn't want, he doesn't need to. No, nobody is required to get the uh, certificate. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just 
Um, what? Yeah. To clarify, when you say they apply, so in point four, they should apply to their home university. Yeah. That apply, what do you mean by apply? Apply for the Erasmus or apply to the No, 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 no. Of course, they have to apply for Erasmus, but in addition, they have to apply for the certificate. Not, Loria, not, Loria, not every student who is particip participating in the Erasmus program wants necessarily have the certificate, our certificate. But maybe there is somebody who wants only to make 20 credit points. Yeah, he knows in, in advance, and then he, he, is, he cannot get the certificate. Yeah. If my students in this particular they didn't choose to, to have